you are set to go. We're gonna learn this Killer James Cotton lick. I won't waste too much time, but since this is a live stream, I do wanna give folks a chance to get here. So what we're gonna do is take what I think to be one of the all time best James Cotton licks and learn it. It's a lick that you hear come up in many recordings. And the one that I'm gonna to sample today comes straight from the clip that I was talking about the other day, James Cotton Slow Blues. If you just type in James Cotton, I'll put a link to it when this stream is over. You'll find that in the video description. Let's hear the lick though. So you'll want an A harp like I, I said, and this is in second position. Um, <clears throat> one moment, please stand by. I wanna make sure I'm live. Okay, good. I think I am. And so this, this lick I think is, like I said, possibly one of the most incredible licks that he plays. It's so him. It's such a James Cotton thing. And it sounds like this. We'll listen to it a few times. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on there? One moment, stand by. Here it comes. The computer's freezing up. I'm not sure what's going on. There it is. There's the riff. Let's let's hear it again. This is, uh, like I said, this is one of the most incredible James Cotton riffs, in my opinion. Come on, computer. And this is, this is all, we're doing this today because I've got a James Cotton class on Saturday. So I'm keeping it in the theme of James Cotton. We're, we're learning a James Cotton lick. This is the exact clip we're gonna examine pretty much the vast majority of the ideas. I've actually decided for that class to cover a lot more than I thought. I just fell in love with too much of what he was doing. So if you're signed up for that class, you are in for a treat. You can learn more about it at harmonica123.com. So let me play the lick for you slowly. There's a couple variations that he does when he plays this riff. You could try tongue locking it all, puckering it all. We keep talking about what approach to use, but it doesn't matter. Just pick an approach. And so the variations that you'll hear are how he's playing it here, which is a more articulated drop when he goes down. Slower, because it's a slow blues, or he might go sometimes where he's, he's really squeezing these bends on the floor and moving quicker, glissandoing fast down to the bottom. Either way works great. This is the man responsible for this riff, meaning like every time I've ever heard this, it's out of James Cotton's harmonica. No one else's, unless they're trying to play some James Cotton. So let's hear it again. It's not that, it's not that slow here, actually. What am I saying, you know? It's quick. But I'm slowing it down for you so you can hear it. It's not really that slow. In the context of a slow blues, it's played pretty fast, actually, here. So did you get the lick yet? A harmonica. It's such a cool idea. I don't hear anybody else playing that lick. So learn this lick. Um, now I'm remembering that I had a video recently where I said, I'm gonna come back and update it. So try your best to figure it out. I better go do that. I think I'm overdue to update that video. Hmm. So I can do the same for this. I can just update the video description in maybe two days and give you all a chance to figure out this riff. Good afternoon or evening or whatever it might be for you to everybody that's here. Travis, what's going on, buddy? Did you get my email? <laughs> um, all right, so. 
Saturday's the class. We're talking about the actual song we're going to examine in class. This is James Cotton's Low Blues on YouTube. It'll say Angel of Mercy slash Blues in My Sleep in parentheses. That's the video we're talking about if you just want to Google it or type it into YouTube. This is an awesome one. Listen to the clip over and over because there's so many classic. This was recorded from what somebody said, I believe, in the 70s, mid-70s. So if you think about his career, to me, this is pretty much his prime right here. He's coming off of, you know, in the 60s, he's playing with like Muddy and like, it's just like he's not that far from that era of his playing. He's a powerhouse right here. He had so much wind in him and that's what I love about him. I call him the heavyweight champion of the blues harp because he's like explosive. He's the guy that you don't want to battle if there's such a term battle in music. Like you do not want to go head to head with James Cotton. <laughs> I wouldn't. No, I mean, not that music's a competition because it's not. All right. So that's, that's the lick today. I'm going to play it again slowly. Or a little faster. He, I, I mean, I can't tell you how many recordings I've heard him use this idea. You guys probably recognize it. Let's hear him play it again. You can find it in the video right around 20 seconds. Let's see. So what's cool about the riff how can I talk about it without just giving you the notes? But like, if you listen to the way he comes off the four, let me just play it for you again. Listen really carefully when he, after he's, right when he gets, when he's coming down from the five, now you know where you, where you should be when you're learning this lick. Check this out. Listen to how he articulates the very end of the lick. He's like a pull on this four, right? And then it's like these last two notes that he plays are more articulated. That's what I was trying to say earlier. That's the kind of nuance that you got to grab because noticing that might completely transform the phrasing and the feel of this riff. So get your James Cotton down. There's so many cool riffs that he plays that are, they're not necessarily all his like exclusive licks, but they're definitely things he played all the time. <laughs> That's kind of something I've heard him play over the years. Um, earlier recordings, this would have been more 60s, probably. And then, you know, he's always got the... Where he's really coming off with the hand wah. Um, there's so many classic licks. And one of the things that I noticed, um, I'm not going to break it down in this clip, but I will tell you, and maybe you can listen for it. It's a good listening exercise, is that in this song... He takes two of his classic kind of licks that you'll hear him, you, you've heard him use over the years in many recordings, and he will he takes them and merges them in this song in a very creative way that I haven't heard him do before. And it's kind of a cool discovery like, oh, wow, I never heard him piece that together in that way. And he's re you could tell in this clip, he's like super in it, like he's all the way in it. So... Short video today, I realize we're nine minutes in, which is good. I don't want to have all these live streams be uh, near an hour long. I don't think, although it's great to hang with you sometimes, that's nice to do. I think that it's better for you guys to be able to come back to some of these shorter videos, work on a lick and not have to go, I got to fast forward through all of Ronnie's talking. I'm just going to keep going. So check out Saturday's class. I've mentioned it now a few times, but I think we start at 12 p.m. Central. Everything's at harmonica123.com. And you can sign up. It's on sale and it's all recorded. It includes notes. I'll leave you with something. Here's a clip I posted on YouTube a long time ago. Not that long ago. Probably at the beginning of the pandemic around that time is when I recall doing it. Um, 
it's called Mississippi Freight Train, and it's James Cotton playing the, the train, right? So I'm going to play you my version of the train, which is absolutely one of the single most important things I ever learned on the harp that came directly from that song. There's two versions on the CD. I think it's the first one. And it's on an A harmonica. So it's called Mississippi Freight Train. You can learn it, learn it on YouTube. Check out that video. Sounds like this. Thanks for the tip. I, you know what's cool is when you tip on on the, the streams here, or the whatever, I guess you can do it in videos, it puts that really cool little, I guess y'all can see it, little icon. There it is, yeah. Um, so that's the Mississippi Freight Train. Cotton's got a really, so I've kind of converted, pretty much it's how he plays it, except he ends up, I kind of add a little thing to it at the end, you know? this little extra thing, but this that part, that's all James Cotton, 100% where I got that idea, and it's just such a cool thing. He's got that, what I love about Cotton, man, is like when he's doing something that's somebody else's stuff too, like he's playing, he loves playing uh, Jimmy Reed licks and Sonny Boy, he'll bring that into his playing, it sounds so freaking good. He does it in a way, like all great players do, that sounds like him, but it pays a perfect respect to these guys that he's, um, their licks that he's playing. I'm constantly distracted by the microphone clip thing, but it sounds good. It works well, so I'm going to keep using it. I brought another one. I'm addicted to the technology stuff, so I bought another one. I'll show you what I use. You can't see it, it's plugged into the phone, the other piece, but you get a little charging piece. If you ever need a wireless microphone, you can, this is DJI. And um, they're good for, you know, if you have a lesson, a harmonica lesson, you want to stream uh, any, anything you might do, record a video. Um, they got built in storage too, so it's a cool little mic. And I love to geek out on that, so I got a a whole nother set of a different brand that I want to try. Why? Because for you guys, I want the audio to be decent. I, I'm this, I hate when the, when you're watching, there's two things that kill me and I'll make this quick in a YouTube streamer or a, somebody posting on YouTube. And not that I've never done this, so I'm guilty of it. I'll just put that out there. One, the eye contact is not there. Instead of looking at you guys and looking like pretty much at the camera, they're kind of like looking at themselves or something. So they're, they're not watching. It looks like they're not looking at you when they're talking to you. I hate that. It drives me nuts. And the other is audio. Just the audio has to be like halfway decent. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm in this mood to play these kind of chugs. I hope you guys got the riff down. I hope you're enjoying these streams. You tell me in the comments. Um, two things I'm looking for feedback on are topics that you want to hear about. And the second thing is the length of these streams. Does it also kind of become way too much? You think when these, we do these longer streams, I probably will not be posting many videos moving forward. Let me say that again. On YouTube, the way that I operate best, what's best for me is the live streams and shorts. Shorts are easy for me to create and it's I can pop them up for you guys for ear training and then the live. I can't imagine you look, I haven't posted a video in a while and I just, so if it's okay with you guys, help me make these streams better. Let me know what you want to see in the streams. Be communicative, use the chat. 
I've talked about just about every topic over the years, but the advantage of revisiting these topics is my brain thinks about them slightly different now. I've had a little more experience, so we can revisit topics that I posted before I had uh, gray hair. All right? And I really appreciate y'all hanging out. You should definitely do the Chicago Bound class. I'm going to do it. I, I, it's already on the schedule. Well, it's not put on a date, but it's on the schedule to be coming up in the next few months. Another thing coming up is Buddy Green, you guys. If you missed it, I'm going to make a full-blown announcement about the YouTube membership that I now have. And I'm also going to make an announcement video for Buddy Green. Buddy Green is joining, I think it's May 25th. Let me double check. It's the last, probably the last Saturday. Yeah, looks like the 25th, isn't it? Yeah. So Buddy Green will be on my program and it's going to be amazing. Because Buddy is just a genius. All right, 15 to 20 minutes. Munt it. Munt it. Munt it. Okay. I see you, doctor. That's all I got today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it. I appreciate y'all. Make it a great day. Go listen to James Cotton. There's so many great CDs to check out. You can't go wrong. Okay. the guy that's making all the comments one after the other um yeah that's too much i don't know what what you're doing all right y'all i really appreciate you thanks again make it a good one i'm out of here i hope to see you saturday <laughs> wah wah yeah i'll add that to the list we can do a featured video on some hand technique stuff we could definitely do it. Y'all make it a great day, and I hope to see you on the next stream. Should be in the next few days or so, I'm, I'm guessing. All right. Adios.